so now we can add board using the add board button we can add items using the add item button we can delete item we can delete board so we have quite a working project now so now in this video i want to make the list sortable so i i should be able to use this icon to move or reposition our items so sort the items as we want so to do that we are going to use the view draggable library so let's see how we can do that so first thing we have to do is install it so you can install it by saying npm i for install dash s for save and then view draggable so let's copy this Ctrl C and I'm going to stop my server for now. So Ctrl C and Y stop it and let's paste it and I hit enter and wait for the installation to finish. Okay, so our installation is now finished. So we can now again start our server back. So npm run serve. Okay, so our server is now started. So let's see how we can use this. So first we have to import it by saying import draggable from view draggable. So copy this Ctrl C. Let's go to our board component. So here is our board.view and here we are going to import it so let's import it here so ctrl v copy this and paste it in our components ctrl v so now we should be able to use this in our template section so let's see how we can do that so we basically just have to wrap our loop with the view draggable component so let's do that so here we are going to say view draggable like so and close it also but in order for this to work this have to have a model so we are going to say v dash model And the model will be our board dot items. So let's say board dot items. So board dot items. Save it, and it should work. Let's see if it works or not. So if we save it and now try to move our items, as you can see, we can move our items and sort them like so but we shouldn't be able to sort it by clicking on anywhere and then dragging we should be able to sort it only when we click on this icon so let's see how we can do that to do that we simply have to specify a handle for it so we are going to say handle equals to and now we have to pass the selector of the element that, you, that we want to add as our handle so if i now go to our item so in our item in the template section so this icon is this one it's called fa dash sort so we want to use this as our handle so we're going to add another class called handle copy this control c go to our board component and our handle will be dot handle like so and we also need to specify a group so we're going to say group and then you can name it whatever you want for example i can name it items and click on save and now if we try to drag by clicking anywhere nothing happens but if we try to click on this sort icon and then drag as you can see we can sort it like so but it sorts all on a sudden that does not look that good so let's also add a transition here so for transition you can use the view view transition element the v dash transition element so i leave the link to this page in the video description and you can learn more more about the view transition here so if you want to transition just one item you use the view transition but if you want to transition an entire group you use transition group so again in this example you'll see we use the transition group here like so so let me copy this Control c and let's add it here and now we can name this transition group something so for example we can say name equals to let's name it list so our transition name is list in the transition page as you can see in the diagram you can see that our elements will have multiple states like the v dash enter v dash enter to v dash leave v dash leave to on each state our elements will get a custom class added so in the css since we named our transition list when the list moves it will get a class of list dash move so we can say list dash moves here we can simply say something like transition transition to let's say 0.3 second save it go to our app and refresh and now if we try to sort as you can see they animate their position like so so if you want to learn more simply go to this page i'll leave the link in the video description otherwise this this will be all for this video and i'll see you next time